Hello again and welcome from the Bob, the Bowers on the Bayou. We bought a fishing camp down here about nine months ago, Jeff and I, and we are having a blast. But we also have our home up in Hattiesburg that Stephanie and Jason moved into and they are having a blast up there as well. So I want to talk to you a little bit about image today. We are in the beauty business, so looking great is our business. How you look is how you feel. So let's get some Mary Kay image tips from our Mary Kay Barbie. And here she is. In 2003, Mary Kay offered a collector's edition as a star consultant prize. There was a lot of excitement about her and we learned some very interesting information about her design from a national sales director. She shared that Mattel sent the company a prototype doll for design approval. She arrived with big fluffy hair, a very short skirt, no hose, and strappy shoes. Mary Kay sent her back. Star consultant Barbie is a businesswoman, they said. She needs to look professional, so Barbie got a makeover. You'll notice a star consultant Barbie is well-groomed, tasteful, and tailored. She looks feminine, yet ready for business. She is dressed the part, and she is ready for success. If she could talk, she'd have a thing or two to tell us about image, but since she can't, I'll take a guess at what she might say. Number one, Barbie's makeup looks great. So check the color book, the fashion magazines, and your sister consultants to make sure that your colors are current and that your application is flattering. If you don't feel confident in this area, ask your sales director or sister consultant for help. If you've been wearing the same colors for years, it's time for a change. Number two, Barbie's hair is neat and professional and up to date. Mary Kay tells us that if you haven't had a compliment on your hair in the last two weeks, you need to cut it, dye it, or buy some more. If you've worn your hair the same way for a long time, consider a consultation with a stylist that you trust. Number three, Barbie's smile is contagious. Mary Kay would always tell us that we should smile all the time at everyone. And when they smile back, they are giving you permission to talk to them. For when you smile at them and they smile back at you, the smile Mary Kay would say is the window to your soul. The most important part of your Mary Kay image is your attitude. Be positive and look for the solutions, not the problems, in everything you see and everything you do. You'll attract people by your enthusiasm. Number four, Mary Kay consultants have long been set apart by their attire. We ask that you always wear a skirt to all Mary Kay functions and selling situations. This means a dress or a skirted suit or outfit that could be considered business attire. Make sure the skirt is a flattering length for you because skirts too short don't look too professional. Number five, Barbie has chosen one Mary Kay pin to wear. Keeping pins to a minimum maintains a professional look and all of our all of our pins are very, very important to us because we work very, very hard at those. But you want, don't want to wear them all at once. Just pick and choose wisely. Your Mary Kay pin, your Star Consultant pin, and your Area or your Union pin are all good choices. These are symbols of success and are very important goals for any consultant. With consistent sales and team building efforts, you too can reach these levels of achievement. Number seven, at all Mary Kay events, you can get Barbie, you can bet Barbie has brought her date book, her notebook, and her checkbook. Make it a point to always have these three things with you. Now your professional image does not have to cost you a lot of money. If your wardrobe doesn't include business attire right now, invest in one or two quality outfits um, that you will really like and you uh, can wear them to every Mary Kay function. I always suggest that consignment shops are a great place to shop. Many consultants do wear from the very beginning of their business a white blouse, a black skirt, um, and they're very professional, and now you're a member of the Black and White Club. Those two pieces will be a great addition to your closet, and you'll be ready when you earn your red jacket. Taking pride in your appearance and the way your starter kit and mirrors look is all a part of business etiquette. And you cannot expect to sell the product if you do not wear the product. You need to be your very best customer wearing all of our Mary Kay products and only the Mary Kay products. Now, use what you have up on your shelf, um, but just use it and then don't ever buy anything else that's not Mary Kay. 
and only purchase for yourself from your closet, from your from your shelf in the future. You're going to get 50% off, actually, and why not use the number one skincare line in the country? Also thinking about this, having a clean and neat automobile personifies pride and self-assurance in your business and what Mary Kay stands for. We don't want fast fast food wrappers, tons of kids toys strewn all over the place, notebooks and cookbooks everywhere, yikes! Someone might look in your car and say, oh, it needs to be tidied up. And of course, you always need to have your Mary Kay decal on your car until you earn your Mary Kay car, promoting yourself, promoting your business is so very important. Let's talk a minute about meeting etiquette now. Always arrive 10, arrive 10 to 15 minutes early to all appointments. Um, number two, arrive with a 100% positive attitude and a smile on your face. Remember, we are either great or we're unbelievable. And we kind of know what great is and unbelievable is just the opposite, but you got to say it with a smile on. Okay, number three, try to bring guests to all events. And number four, socializing with fellow consultants should be done before or after unit meetings or events because talking during the meeting can be disrupting and is disrespectful to your speaker and your director. Chewing gum during meetings and or events, hmm, mints or a hard candy are suggested. Then electronic devices such as cell phone, beepers, um, and they should all be in the off position, preferably be turned off or silent, and, um, and during the meetings and all company events as well. Children uh, should not be brought to meetings uh, and or events unless they are over the age of 18 and or a recruit prospect. And unless, well, so there are some exceptions that can be made, and of course you have to talk to your sales director about that. Uh, cheer and applaud for others like you would like to be applauded for. For is, is we have really great clackers at the uh, at the meetings, and it's so much fun to be silly and have fun. But where else in corporate America can you have fun and make money like this?